Tensions are already high with Ebola fears and now two Bronx students originally from Senegal in West Africa say they were beaten up because of those fears. News 12, the Bronx reporter Enzo Domingo brings us their story from IS 318. The scars and bruises are the result of a schoolyard beatdown in IS 318. But unlike other scuffles that happen on school grounds, this attack was fueled by Ebola fears. What did you tell me? That I want to go back to Africa. I said, why? He said, these people call me Ebola. They don't even want to know my name. Poppy and Mamadou Drame, both U.S. born but living in Senegal, had just come back home to the Bronx a few weeks ago, and their father says they've been bullied ever since. The tensions reached their peak last Friday when they say at least a dozen students beat them while name-calling them Ebola. These kids are faced with, uh, with, with the stigmatization of Ebola, and something needs to be done. Earlier today, Usman Drame, along with the NYPD and Charles Cooper of the African Advisory Council, paid a visit to the school to finally file an incident report. Now, the school was aware of the incident, but no report was ever filed until today. They talk about mediation, but we, we don't want to see any of our children being bullied um, in any school. You know, they're there to learn and they're there to be kids. Now, despite the beating leaving his kids with scars and bruises, Drame says he does not want the alleged attackers to be kicked out of school as he is a proponent of education. I'm going to take them home today, but tomorrow I see what to do next, you know. But I will never keep them in school. I love school. I love education. I want them to be somebody. These kids, they aren't born to go to prison, no. They are born to take over in this country, to do something. Enzo Domingo, News 12, The Bronx.